Right. Hello, good evening. We are back. Part two of episode four of the TLBX podcast. What's up, guys? My name is Greg M, a.k.a. The Remix. And I'm here with... Hey, guys. Matt Green here. What's up? It's your boy, Big John. Hey, y'all. Aerosol here. It's Paranormiac, a.k.a. Galen. Hi. Right, so now, right, Matt, this is where we get into our list now, right? Not our dishonorable yeah. or honorable mentions. Yes, it is. This is. Okay, okay. Matt, you go first, my man. Okay, so, uh, so like, like we said before, uh, so we'll, we'll each go in a row, give our top fives, and then after we cycle, cycle through everybody, we do our top fours and our top three, threes, and keep going. Got it. Um, so... Uh, so, th- so this list is our, um, uh, of our, our overall top five favorite things of 2019. Um, just to preface, my, my, my personal list is mostly uh, uh, pretty much all game related because, mm. you know, like, like I mentioned before, there was only so many games I got to like act- actually play and stuff, so I wanted to make, make sure I highlight those the best, best as possible. Mm-hmm. So so for, for me starting off number five, Greg, you're going to love this. My number five, we're starting with... Uh, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Let's go, man! Let's <laughs> go! Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I know it's probably a, su- a surprising one for me to start off with, um, considering I don't play that, that many shooters, and um, even with this one, un- unfortunately, I didn't get to have as much time with it as, as I wanted to, but I really enjoyed it. The um, I re- really liked the, the gunplay. Um, nice. It, 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 is this ever a game that I, I I feel I actually feel comfortable aiming and shooting? Like it's 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 automatically high, high up on the list when it comes to shooters. Truly. Um, and, and and of course and of course obviously the game butted me out with uh, with its open world of DC. I was ho- hoping to see a little more of the the outskirts. I w- I wanted to go you know get dirty and go to Anacostia, but <laughs> the world was not that big. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, I will say there have been DLC. At, they added the zoo, and they did add, I think, either right. Reagan or uh, National um, or or Dully's Airport, as as uh, as was raid, Reagan. Ra- Reagan. Yeah, those were raid areas. And well, I, I was if it's Dulles Airport, that takes an hour to get up to the damn airport. That long. Mm. Yeah, that'll be a bit too far. Obviously, my my fault. Like time. it could have been right, but I'm just saying, like that's, that that's low time ride. though. Um, <laughs> I do, I do want to say, um, and it's up to uh, you, Aerosol and uh, Galen, Matt, if you guys want to go at it again because I, I. I I still have the game installed. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. I know we I know we had fun with this one, and I don't mind reteaching you guys like what to do and stuff. And it's a fun no, game. No, honey, you it, don't it, have to reteach me. I've been shooting people up. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Um, but I mean, I'll be happy to uh, play with you guys again. I know Denise, she's down also because we uh, we actually, but we actually uh, are trying to get ready because we actually want to start beating a raid together and i'm thinking like we have to let them beat the mm. game first because it's too difficult to have like to start a raid with just people who just started playing and stuff because they need to get a little bit more experience with the with the materials and you know level up in certain yeah, aspects right. because oh what if, level are you at um i'm i'm full maxed out i'm fully mixed maxed out what? already yeah i'm oh, oh me and denise beat the game already <laughs> mm. yeah i said early on i'm still like Real talk, I can't remember if my level hit the double digits yet. So I, I still have a long ladder to climb there. I think. But... Yeah, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure I'm like on level 13, and I stopped there because I thought it would. I thought it was funny. Hey, I mean, <laughs> we. I know we have requests of people have want to play matches of uh, like games with each other and stuff, like another game night. Because I think the number one, and I shouldn't mention this in honorable mentions. Everyone loved our Uno video, by the way. Yeah, and that was I fun. know. I know we all had a great time. Everyone requested more team that was building quality or, content. T- or quality. Yeah, I, I think content. I improved it because it, well, I played it recently and it didn't crash. So yeah, yeah and okay. did you know Tfue, uh The f- for those who don't know, Tfue was a pro Fortnite uh, gamer. He had a million dollar Uno tournament. Huh? 
Yeah, and with him and his friends. And I was like, did it crash on him? Uh, did, I hope it didn't because uh, that's a million dollars there. So... I'd be the worst time for the game to crash. I mean, if you guys want to see us play Uno, say cap on the chat again. We would love to play on Uno. I would love to play another round of Uno against Matt and Galen and Big John and then we oh, all ready. curse at each other. Please, okay? Sure. I missed it. If you missed it, we do have a clip of the longest round which ended in a draw because the game crashed on us and i remember gaily yeah. leaving just to like she because she got tired she was like i'm gonna pass it to talia or i went to the shower yeah because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you were like you weren't having it you were not having yeah. it. you were so upset but continue matt i'm sorry but division two we'll definitely bring it back this year for you guys we, we i would love to i don't know about you guys but i would love to play with you guys again on division 2. i know yeah that, that pretty much drums up my, my thoughts on that um great game great shooter um nice to see dc representation and hey, let's go uh hope to see more of that so greg what is your number five my number five and when it comes to gaming you mean right oh whoops sorry that almost blew out your t uh your next game uh my number five uh, uh for games you know, it's kind of funny. It's also the Division 2. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because, yeah, it works out. because um, to be fair, for those who don't know, um, I like to play video games. It's, you know, it's another way for me to connect with Denise. Love you. And that's the first time I said that on the podcast. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> um, but um, it was a way that's for us to... the first time? You don't love her enough. Hey, 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 hey. Anyways, <laughs> um, she, she's, watch she's watching and enjoying the the, the concert um 17 hey but anyways um it's the game is a great experience i mean especially in because it's a team working exercise just like in the very first game however they dimmed the gameplay and they they hyped it up more because hey it's in our city mm -hmm. washington dc baby and it was great i mean obviously mm -hmm. The Capital One Arena was not named the Capital One Arena inside the game for protection and tourism, you know, liability and all that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's also the first game I helped introduce you guys to it because I was nervous at first. I was like, uh, hopefully they like this game because I know shoot uh, some particular shooter games isn't there genre and maybe this is different maybe this is different hopefully they like it and i'm glad you like it matt i hope galen and eris will like it because I, I was like hopefully it's not too hard for them hopefully it's not too difficult oh of course i love it anything ubisoft is fantastic mm. how about you galen because i again I, I hope i'm not introducing you to um, difficult stuff so yeah i mean I, I that's why i said it's this is a great game to ha add teamwork you know to straight strengthen ourselves also and how we work with each other and communication also as well. You guys remember when we went to the ho the Grand Hotel, and I know there's a clip mm -hmm. of us like standing by, like, all right, I got the targets up top, and like I remember Aerosol on the bottom. She said, "I got a grenade out." I know Galen was like, "I'm right behind you. Don't worry, I'll heal you if they come closer." And Matt, I was like, "Okay, Matt, we gotta we gotta get okay. these we gotta get these guys." We're going. <clears throat> And by the way, folks, I do have a clip of last year from last year's Twitch um, Let's Play where we all died on the first game of the division in the department store of the Macy's. Oh, yeah. And we were all we all uh, caught on fire. Like and mold down. if you if you look at my face, I literally legit put the controller down and I was rubbing my face like, Lord, have mercy. Like, oh, was, my. Because it, it was a, it was a hot mess. But. We ended up beating the hotel in the second game, the, like the very first mission, and we were all proud of that. And again, okay. I can't, I, I can't wait to get more because hopefully connection issues and server issues have been fixed. Because that's why we sort of stopped playing it just for the game to update and stuff, and maybe Ubisoft fix something with the servers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean, the story is great. I we're not in the snow anymore. And uh, 
the customization is fun also because I know each and every one of us have our own different uh, aspects because you guys know me. I'm the sharpshooter. I like sniping and, you know, I, I stay in the back and watch over you guys with assault weapons. And I know Aerosol likes to get a, a little bit up close and personal, but she likes defense. I know Galen likes to heal once in a while and Matt likes the scientific and the, the, the power defense. It's almost like, holy crap, we got it. I just really don't know how to here. still. I honestly think that's my problem. Wait. I'm like, just wait, just wait. No, go now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, cause I was like, I was like, I was like, Aerosol, you're going to get shot. I remember one time then when we, get shot? no, we were all facing against this one guy. We were like, let's get him. But he ran away from us. And we were like, Aerosol was like, where's this, where's this guy going? And Matt was like, yo. And Galen was like, what the hell? And I was didn't like. I like chase, didn't I chase him? I swear I chased him. Down. You and Matt chased him. Me and Galen just sat back and like, <laughs> what just happened? Yeah. But <laughs> that's my top five game. It was one of the most played co-op games for me for 2019. And uh, I can't wait to play with you guys again on it. And hope, maybe beat mm. the campaign. And uh, I know we'll do another Let's Play. We should start a series on that. Yeah. Yeah. Here for this. Um, someone go next for their for the their big, five in the game. Big John, what is your number five? Okay, so I said it earlier, but you know I gotta say it again. Dragon Ball Super Bully. <laughs> First of all, let me toot my own <laughs> weeb horn because when I told people Gogeta was coming back, they looked at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> but here's to you peasants for underestimating my weebness. I told y'all Gogeta was coming back. Who else oh, Broly no. gonna fight? Huh? Oh no, Broly not fighting Vegito. Vegito will get up. Would have got the romper. Wait, beat off clip of him. that. But you know what? I straight up got the romper beat off of him. Do you, you have a video clip swaggy, of this? The swaggy vest, son. Oh my god! You can't leave. You, how are you gonna tell? And then you know, when as soon as Toriyama was like, you know, I'm gonna watch this Broly movie. I'll keep hyping up, and I'm gonna rewrite it myself. Wait, movie, is this a y'all. game or a movie? I'm so oh, confused. Movie. Movie. Dragon oh, Broly, you know. oh, oh, okay. So Sorry. Broly, can you please is... trademark jokes on you peasants? Can you please? <laughs> <laughs> Broly is a, is a much finally Broly's canon, Gogeta's canon. You know, I could I could finally take a nice nap. <laughs> like your your bro- fight your fight is over, Big John. You can like, chill now. Like Broly is a, has you know his character has been flushed out a lot more because back then it was just Kakarot, 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 Kakarot. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's like. Oh, Broly, he didn't want to be like this. He was stranded on a, a dwarf planet. He just, he was too strong and all that. Even though they, they, they kind of, people didn't like what they did to Broly, but I guess Toriyama like Superman. So they just really just, Broly, we always uh, go with the uh, the special Broly. He was raw. That's the Broly we like. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. this new, this new loving dad, because who needs that, am I right? Uh, okay <laughs> okay he was just like i have a feeling you know but back then he was like i can see the future i hate the neighbor my neck i can see the future i know what's happening but anyway yeah the broly movie i think was amazing it was just hype how the soundtrack they tried something different had a little chanting in there when broly and when broly was fighting with vegeta and goku and then the fusion there's like go go goku goes like okay i'm hype okay i'm with it it was nice and fluid animation nice and saucy as the kids say these days <laughs> oh what you know wait do they that. say that i'm so far behind on the times yes yeah i have not heard that one yet I don't know what the, kids say. the kids don't talk to me <laughs> yeah, but I don't, like greg i don't know if you can say anything do any of y'all talk to the kids these days like no, okay I know, I know i don't that's why i know no, i'm lost no i, I don't know <laughs> all right galen does it have to be know, games uh, or Elfo. Oh yeah, yeah he, just, he just totally skipped me. Like I, I didn't game. mean to. I'm sorry about the picture. I'm sorry. I wasn't <laughs> looking at the picture. My bad. That's okay. We can we can we can rush through mine. Uh, so for me, number five <laughs> was uh, AC Rebel Collection. I was oh, yeah. gushing mm. about this uh, quite frequently to you guys previously, um, but I've just really been enjoying um, the Nintendo Switch remastered versions. I think mm-hmm. that most Assassin's Creed games at this point should be on Nintendo Switch. Give me all of the handhelds, please, and mm. thank you. Um, but the Rebel Collection specifically. Um, 
because I'm currently going through another pirate phase, it's just I've been having a lot of fun. Has Syndicate been planned for Switch yet, by the way? Or not, not as of yet, okay. which uh, hurts my soul. But, you know, I, I think it's just because there's like there's a lot of conversation over gotcha. going back to the original games and potentially like trying to remaster them. There hasn't been like any confirmation for one and two, but I'm like, I mean, you already did three, so why not? So okay, I don't know. There, there, there's just there's a lot of talk, but it's it's really just rumors. I think it's safe. I, can't. I think it's safe to say that um everyone is trying to remaster things for the Switch because you know it, they it's have easy money. Yeah, that easy money at the yeah, same time they missed out on you know Wii U ports and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, this is a good time. This is a good time. C- continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh no, I'm done. That was me. Oh. Mm. Doing it. Do they have to be video games? No, it can be. Or... No, it can be anything. Mm. That was I just my top movie. five. Like that's my number one. My number five. Like the rest of them have nothing to do with games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me personally. Oh okay. Shit. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I know what it is. I know what it is. Um, I'm I'm gonna say Pokemon Shield. Oh. Okay. Because really? okay. um, I haven't I haven't played really like like recently released games. It's fine. Like this whole yeah. year, unfortunately, just I don't know why. But um it's I like cool. Shield. Um I like how it like you can, you know, create your character actually. You can like mm-hmm. I feel like though that... it's not as like like fun as the older games cuz I miss like the that fashion show we had like back when we had three oh, no. the DS okay. Yeah, the contest. I miss oh that. Oh my gosh, yes. The Safari Zone, you know. I miss that. Like, I'm. I mean, whatever they do, you know. In so the future. You, you're just trying yeah. to say you wanted old features from the past games, but updated in that the, the, yeah. the current graphics. Yeah, like some, oh, like, okay. Oh, like gosh. something like that. Like, but like okay. in the new game. But I still like interacting with my Pokemon, obviously. Well, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's number one. I, let me say one thing. There is that ribbon slot because it's almost like with expansions and whatever they could add that since they do have ribbon slots. Like, mm, yeah, you're right. Because I'm like, what other ribbons could there be? Like, yeah, you beat the game, but come on, there's gotta be some more they're gonna add with the ribbon yeah. slot. Yeah, I felt like that was more so um, just uh, keeping compatibility with people who bring who bring over their older Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. they have ribbons back then from back then. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, would it would it be a bummer? Thanks. Oh, <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm guessing I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to give her a glimmer of hope. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so good. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so next was um. Oh, I'm next. Okay. So. <laughs> this one, let's go. Number four. Number four, so my number four for the year uh, of all things is actually um, Super Mario Maker 2. Ooh. I had a lot of fun with this game. Um, I I basically played it the hell back on the Wii U, so, um, (laughs) you know, know, any more content I can give is is all worth it. I like all the uh, new features they added. You know, we we, first of all, all, you know, we we finally got slopes. As we've yep. been requesting this for so long, and um, the the co-op stuff that they added is really cool. Um, and I'm happy to see that they're they're still adding more and more stuff. We're supposed to be getting some more uh, updates, free updates with uh, more parts to it. Um, I was kind of thrown off at the fact that they didn't continue to add amiibo support, um, like all the costumes and stuff they have from the first game. But c- considering the um, the recent update uh, with Link and like actually giving them like extra moves and stuff, I think that's the route they want to go now. Like putting more care into what they want to add to the game. So yeah, that's my that's my number four. I hope to see more uh, more big updates about it in the coming coming year. Well, I guess um, my number four for when it comes to games has to be Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I'll uh, I'll, I'll tell. You're coping out a lot there. Well, wait, seriously? Oh, okay. Um, my bad. I number my fourth game for uh, 2019 has to be Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for well. 
currently I am playing for the PlayStation 2. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. Maybe. Can you? Jedi yeah. Fallen Order. Yeah. Yes, awesome. But, uh, I mean, I'm, I had my doubts due to the fact that it, this was under EA Electronic Arts, and you guys know that ever since the Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, mini micro transactions mm-hmm. here and there, and, you know, it got scary. People were worried that there were. It's a great single-player game, and if you're a fan of the Dark Souls series, it reminds you uh, of the, the series itself as a whole. Oh, um, no, yeah, Star Wars Dark Souls. I kind of just it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know, like, every med- Jedi Meditation Square reminds you of a, a fire pit. Yeah, I, I agree. I, mm-hmm. I agree. I mean, I I it, I mean, the storyline itself is un- is pretty understandable, and it goes with the pace of how you play. And at the same time, it's one of those games where you, you would, just because you're defeated, that doesn't mean you suck or it's a complete game over. You just keep replaying until you uh, get into a certain level, and how should I say, you level up uh, your kid, the the main character himself. <laughs> and I I will since uh, my since I'm feeling better, and I think it's safe to say this, and it's a bit too early, but I think yeah, next week I'll be streaming and continuing my gameplay of uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order for the Lunchbox Publications. Cool, so cool. yeah. I mean, you guys should definitely pick it up. I think it's on sale for forty bucks at on Amazon, and please try it out because uh, maybe there's still a bit of hope. This is actually it. Sh- it just shows a bit of hope that e- you can sort of still trust EA with Star Wars games. And I would like to add also, they did fix Star Wars Battlefront two. You they just you just wish the features were came out when the game came out, like instant action mode but besides the fact pick it up guys that's my fourth game of uh, 2019 big john take it away all right so my number four is a manga called chainsaw man which i highly recommend you Ooh, boy. Mm. let me tell you <laughs> hey there's a brief little synopsis i say synopsis like i don't know nothing i can't even spell synopsis but anyway it starts off with some kid named denji and the world is like oh there's a bunch of uh devils demons Ooh. wanna People are hunting and stuff. And his dad owed a lot of money to some like loan shark type of character. So, you know, the next the next line down, the son, he got paid all the debt. So he then sold an eye, a kidney, a testicle to pay some money back to this man. And he got a little pet that's a little devil chainsaw puppy. Oh, and oh. eventually the the kid, he's like, he so he barely has anything. Like he ends up like um, I was skimming through the, the first chapter again, and it's like, oh, I done paid up all this money back, and I only got such such yen left, and we have a slice of bread to dinner tonight. So he don't got nothing. He pretty much would. He just wants to live that lavish lifestyle because he's been sitting around. He had to sell a damn eyeball for you know, just to just to pay this money back to to this person that he don't even owe the money. It's his dad. So anyway, he ends up damn. he ends up dying right. And but he made all these promises to Poochie. Uh, so Poochie was like, Okay, I'll become your heart, so we can just do whatever. So he came back as a, a devil, a chainsaw devil. That's what he's you know, a chainsaw man. And he ends up being recruited by the top like de- devil hunters, and it's getting kind of crazy. Like, it, it's really, I think it's really good. Like, the art style is a little rough, but it's I, it, it fits it, I want to say. Like, it, it suits the, the tone and style of the manga. So. Go ahead and get your little Viz, you know, subscription. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it's funny oh, how man. you're. T- yeah, I'm on <laughs> Viz.com, showing um the first chapter. It is free. Um, is yes. Pretty, it's, it's but, really yeah, just, now, I just saw, saw a picture of uh, a demon tomato. This is great. Yeah, they, okay. <laughs> like okay. It's just, they use it as a freelance double no. hunter. No. No. Hopefully it gets an anime. I can predict. Yeah, it's gonna get an anime. It's gonna get one. Hopefully, you know. I I, I, I hope Bones. I hope Bones gets it. You know, but you know. (laughs) All right, Arisa. So, my number four is uh, Greg. You're gonna like this, Mm. Harlequin. Uh, Oh wow! Okay, makes sense. Okay. Um, I. I've actually really been enjoying the cartoon. I think that it's 
it gives me the good chuckle. Like there are moments where I I know I'm not in the mood to watch it, but um, you know, I feel like those are like my sensitive snowflake moments. And then beyond that, I'm just like, let me just watch a <laughs> funny ass cartoon that's definitely not PC, but awesome at the same time because it has everything that I need, which are like bad guys getting the focus and attention that they deserve. <laughs> as my as my love for villainy um prevails mm-hmm. so i I've, I've really just been enjoying it a lot um i think it's hilarious and greg thank you for introducing me to the show i mean you're welcome i uh <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad because um again it gives you a type of adult swim um what what adventure brothers vibe but in of course in the world yes. of uh harley quinn and uh uh Ke- keely kokuko I, I can't say Kyoko. Kyoko. Kyoko? No. It's um, Kuoko. Kuoko. Um, I, she, I love all of you. Stop. She, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 sorry. No, oh, man. And she she does an amazing job. But she, and she's also producing, helping producing the show. And um, she voices, of course, the title character, um, Harley Quinn uh, herself. And... Mm. I have to say, it's one of the. It's very interesting to hear comedians take over the roles of these villains and such. And you know, like you have Jason Alexander as Psy, the landowner. You have Lake Bell. She uses the voice of Poison Ivy. You have yeah, Alan Tudyk as Clayface. Yeah, and Joker. Jason, Jason Alexander is honestly a slept-on villain. Um, I think this is long overdue and necessary. He doesn't get enough bad guy roles. He is hilarious. Yes but he is hilariously evil, and that's what I love about him. Did you watch the latest episode? Not the one that came out today, but last week's episode? Yes. Yeah, did I you did see the what episode. they did to King Shark? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was the, the, whole, the whole scenario was just really just Shark! Up. <laughs> yeah. Did you see how that quick he got into... That poor oh, child. Like, God. I don't think I ever, like... I mean, first of all, I wanted to punch Robin in the face. No, you have to admit. Um, no, no, no. Do you have to admit that was the quickest way? Such a that, brat. That was so a good. new. That was a new world record of getting inside Black Gate, Aerosol, just yeah. to get buzzed. <laughs> yeah. Wait, um, yeah. Which Robin is the show using? Uh, um, Damien. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh okay. my lord! It's uh, it's he should just die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this but... is DC. I don't need to like the kids, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but oh, yeah. No, fuck that kid. <laughs> All right. Seriously. You you have any <laughs> final final thoughts on Harley Quinn? Any final thoughts? Uh. Poison Ivy is everything I ever needed from her in an animated series. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gaylene, what's your number four? <laughs> My number four is also a cartoon, but it's a pilot. <laughs> but it's, um... Ooh, yay! I know, it's, what, um, I know what's going. Okay, all right then. Well, it's, um... <laughs> it's a called Hasbin Hotel. Yep. I watched that recently. Ooh. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Wait, let me marking this down. Hasbin um, Hotel. Funnily enough, back in high school, I used to follow the artist when she was still in um, SVA. Wait, Vizzy Pop? Is this it? Yeah. Was, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. I used to follow her. Like, I used to like, oh my God, her like sketches, her sketchbook tours, everything about That's her awesome. like style was like, it's like, I don't know. Now people call it edgy, but I mean, I, I like it just because I'm edgy. <laughs> um, but um, I mean, you is though. <laughs> I, I I like it for the like I don't know I, eh. people criticize it because like not all the characters are like shapely like everybody looks like sticks and I agree you know but I also style. yeah it, the art style is very pretty it's it's funny because like they're really like everybody kind of hates how everybody looks like sticks but she actually has a character called Mimsy who is actually thick. And I don't know why she hey. hasn't like um <laughs> Matt put her <laughs> she hasn't like put her in the pilot for some reason like uh gotta save her for later yeah they gotta save her later she, apparently she's dating Alistair um from like the old sketches you know okay. but um the oh, days are numbered wow 
but yeah, um, is... if she well, makes more episodes, I'm gonna watch them. When I when I first watched it, I was like, "This is for edgy Tumblr babies." Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. Made me think of like a dark version of a uh, like... dark version of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Yeah, basically. Yeah, actually. One hundred percent. This looks very nice, though. Wow. It's... I'm I'm legit just watching the pilot silently right now. Really? Oh, <laughs> no, no, my no, favorite really character nice. is not Alistair. Everybody loves Alistair, but actually, like um. Angel and um, yeah, actually, nah, just like Angel. who's the cute chick who looks looks really angry and hates the world? Uh, which, which one? one? <laughs> oh, oh, um, <laughs> she's gray and white. Vaggy, I like her too. Okay, she's cute. She's my favorite. Yeah, the animation looks. I very love the nice. ones who are just angry at everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah. Matt, Big John, if I, I to- I'm secretly, angry. if I told you guys, <laughs> do you know what um this reminds me of? Well, the that uh, Boogie Frights episode of the Powerpuff Girls. You yeah, remember that? Yeah. Blame like... it on the Boogie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. Yes. Yeah. oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, when they were, when when you see Hell taking over the town and stuff, and I was like, wait a minute, this looks like the that Powerpuff Girls episode. But this really looks <laughs> nice, and I'll definitely, it's definitely on my watch later list. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm guessing this is your number four? Watching. Yes. Watching nice. Seconds, Thank you. Please. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, Matt. What you got, man? Uh, my turn. My, my my number three is basically uh, it, it was basically comfort food. Um, I completed it um, kind of in one shot, in and out. Um, because it was so familiar and so loved to me, but that's what I needed to retread over and over. And that number three is uh the remake for the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. It's um. The Word. very first Zelda game I had played way back in the day, so it was, it was nice to come back to it. Uh, I need to get this, especially with his um, his very his new very cute um. I love this art style. style. I love it. Yeah, it, it, it looks like a bunch of toys playing around. Remember the diorama they had at E? Was it E three? Oh, I was yeah, gonna have that. I was like, yeah. gonna have that. Send it to my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, outside of the art style, though, like the game played, honestly, exactly how how I thought it was. It, it, it plays like the, like the old Zelda game. Um, you know, a couple a couple touches up here and there for uh, quality of life stuff. Especially since you know you you're not limited to two buttons like on the original Game Boy anymore. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, all the items item switching that you had to do back in the day, honestly, was was kind of a lot. No, nah, fam, you know what the art style reminds me of? Earthbound. Earthbound, like the clay figures for Earthbound. Yo, they should bring Earthbound back like this. Actually, yeah, there, there was someone that made um some good. some mock-up art saying, like, you know, you know, get, get the art team from Leaks Awakening to do the, the um an Earthbound remake. It will sell so quick. I look, it will look so good. You know what, Greg? Oh, you know that's what Greg is going to stream, right? If that's going to happen, yep. Yeah. Because that's the number one game. You know oh. that, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. You ain't lying. Shoot, no, no. Because um, funny story. I was actually actually introduced to Earthbound when I was in first grade, and I remember my father bought bought it, and you know, ninety six, ninety seven was. I mean, ninety seven was sort of the year. Cries in Mother 3, but okay. No, 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 no. no. Hey, 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 proxy, proxy. Kai, you you know, you know I'm a diehard Earthbound fan for life. And this game holds a very special place for me and my family's family's uh, history because this was actually the game where we all sat down and and played together because the music was great, the story was wonderful. We were all hoping Earthbound... Um, I kid, lol. Yeah, I know. I mean, but to be fair, like Earthbound Two or Mother Two, Earthbound. Yes. I mean, <laughs> Mother Three was like, I I played it uh, and I got to reinstall <clears throat> some certain software that I can't say, so I can play Mother Three. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna help you out on this one. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I I, I got. I got. I got. I got. Because um. I know where to go for that, but um, it's just, it's just that if they remake that in the version of Link's Awakening, and I, man, someone needs to clip this and or highlight this because and 
Big John's right. If it gets re-released, there is no way in hell that's not going to make, like, sell a bunch of copies. Because Earthbound Mother 2 is a classic. And if Mother 3 can be remade here in, in for Worldwide, in, but in this format, man, I bet you Kai is going to be getting that for the Switch. It is? Wait, what? Wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's, there's no confirmation of a remake. Right okay, now. you know what? Don't break my spirits, guys. Because I'm not, Greg, Greg, Greg don't like that. Greg don't like that. Remakes don't like that, yo. That's like, man. Oh, okay. But man, like, man, my, my my dad bought it, and you know what? I still have, guys. I still have the Earthbound Super Nintendo with the scratch and sniff card strategy guide in my possession. It's actually in my room. It's actually right there. Yeah. Nice. Shoot. But cont- but yeah, that's uh, that's my sense about it, Big John. I, man, love you for bringing that idea up. Why did I think of that, man? I'm so stupid. Looks so good, man. You know, man. we just look. I'm just always thinking about stuff all the time. That's why I can't sleep at night. So come on, man. Dude, you're you're a genius. What? The- no, no, no. Seriously, jokes aside, no, guys, ladies and gentlemen, my man here is a genius because ideas. This is why he should. Nintendo hired this man right now, man. No, Shoot, no, no, no. Shut up! <laughs> think tank. Look, if they hire me, I'm just gonna be pushing for more Gen Two remakes. Cause I... <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one more Gen Two remake. Come on. Yeah, we, we don't need that. <laughs> I'm like, just make it for me. Um, Let me get the I guy. highly disagree. I think it's necessary. Big John, uh, get it done. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Okay, I'm guessing my number three. Okay. Number three. Oh my. Okay, number three. All right. So, I didn't beat it yet since uh, yeah, Call of Duty took over. Shame on me but, <laughs> and and school. But Borderlands three is my number three game. Wow. See, wow. wow. Um, <laughs> due to the fact that Borderland, um, the Borderland series was pretty much uh, one of the games. How should I say? Plays a, a huge role in uh, in my. Uh, and how should I say in my game history? Because when the first one came out, it was uh, how should I say it was great because hey, guns, co op, friends, funny story, and uh, even though the endings for the first and second game were okay, it was still good. And uh, of course, the DLC because this game, because 2012 was the year we did get. Uh, yeah, 2012 was the year we got um, Borderlands 2, and it took seven years to get Borderlands 2 to come out, and it was worth it. It was definitely worth it if a certain company should have did that for Kingdom Hearts 3. Anyways, <laughs> the point is, the point is, uh, four new four new hunters, four new uh, um, new abilities, gazillions of guns. You also have a special gun that allows you to shoot more guns and i'm hearing rumors that you could uh, yeah yes yes you have a gun that shoots more guns it, oh, it's Lord. real it's real like um i haven't found it yet but it's fun but uh i hope i know the first dlc expansion has come out i hope to talk to uh carlton aka lawmaker blue miss you my man love you and i know he's been playing other games like uh that Plants vs. Zombies uh, neighborhood game, I forgot what you call it, but... I, Battle I, for Neighborville. Yeah, Battle for Neighborville. He, he's playing that with Oscar right now. Yeah, shout um, out to Carlton. Yeah. I ain't got no mom. <laughs> <laughs> but... That's a throwback to the lady on the bus. Oh, no, no. Yes. Dude, that was 10 years ago. Oh, my I God. Never, I would never forget. Oh, my that God. <laughs> But I ain't got no money. <laughs> but yes, um, maybe hopefully because I know I gotta switch to Xbox soon because I know Julissa's almost done with Gears and I wanna play with that that new arcade mode with her on Gears Five, and I I gotta go back beating this game at least because I am long overdue. So Borderlands Three, my uh, third game of 2019. Take it away, yourself. Um, um, yeah, I was gonna say I think Big John's next. Oh, okay, so my number three is Dragon Quest. Eleven my apologies, S, Nintendo sorry. Switch. Aww. I Yay. love Dragon Quest Eleven S. I got the art book recently. Well, 
Aww, nice. last year. Our book looks so good. Like Toriyama's art, I'm I'm just a huge fan. Like, yeah, mm. <laughs> that's awesome. I read like in like in the beginning of the art book, it's, he said, "I didn't even want to do the art for that game at first, but my editor was like, go ahead and do it, man.' Because he said his editor had like a he had a, a an eye for what it was going to be popping. And he was like, "Oh, you know what? I'll I'll do it." And look, he's still doing art for Dragon Quest. Yeah. <laughs> so Dragon Quest Eleven is just. It's a good game, and especially in the Switch version, we got the music. Like there was the whole music issue. Like we got the, the orchestra the music, music on the Switch version. Like I got it on PS4 when it came out, but then I stopped playing that one because I heard about you know the the, uh, the complete edition. I was like, I'm gonna just wait till that one come out, and I'm glad oh, I did because I had a good time playing it. <laughs> like it's just they let you have the Dragon Quest Eight music playing throughout it too. <laughs> like you had the option to switch the music, so I was just like, you know what. I'm yeah, I honestly think it would have uh, made my list as well. I had a had time to uh, start it up. It's just sitting there. Yeah, it's a good game. Like, I'm still <laughs> in the I'm still in the post game, which is is tough, but it's it's still fun. But at least I beat the main game. Like I need to <laughs> finish that. Yeah, it's good. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good fun time. Mm. I like the new main character. I like him a lot, even though he has that that basic hairstyle. But it, it's still. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it legit is so basic. Look yeah, at that. But it's still yeah, good. It oh, is. I love Serena and Ron. Listen, uh, uh, Trunks, I love all the characters. Trunks wore it better, man. Trunks yeah, better. You're right. Yeah. Tr- Trunks, he wore it a little shorter, but even the longer one was still better. He, you know, he, he had it tied back in a little ponytail, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that, you know. That's that's that posh spice hair, dude. I'm down with this. <laughs> Jasper, ooh, don't get me started. Uh. Like, it's, 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 oh, yes, it's got a yes. good, it's got a good solid story. I, I want to say, and it's like okay. the I grind wish... is fun. Like I spent a lot of time grinding in that game, and oh, I, really? I don't it. Yeah, you're right. It's it's good to grind in you that gotta game. Especially you gotta get that money because every new town is like a better weapon. Like oh, I gotta get that weapon, so it's good it's to have so some money expensive. on you. So expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I recommend it. You know. I'm, oh yeah. Shoot, I, I might have to go back and play it on the PS4. Just so you know. Just, <laughs> Remind self to play it again. It's fun. Okay, uh, Aerosol, what is your number three? Uh, my number three is Captain Marvel. Um, it was just All cute. Right. Was I cool. just thought it was a really? really cute film. Yeah, I just, I just thought it was cute. It, it that really was it. Like, <laughs> it, it don't, don't make me nitpick because I will, <laughs> mm. and I, and I don't like it when I do that because I will do that to basically any film that I watch, or anything that I watch. Really, there's a lot of nitpicking. There's but nothing is ever care. perfect, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, right. That that's that's what I say. Anyway, but just like overall, visually, uh, visually, it was a very entertaining movie. Mm. Um, the storyline still needed work. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, a lot of the a lot of the random plot devices that they had could have done without. Mm-hmm. But visually, it was really fun to watch. And yes, I did enjoy it when she punched that old lady in the face. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy Samuel Jackson's fake hair. I just saw. I didn't enjoy that at all. Oh uh, no, no, Samuel <laughs> Jackson's fake hair was really weird, and like the whole the whole making him young thing, I'm like, y'all just have way too much fun with the CGI BS. Yes. And it's, yeah. getting, it's getting to be way too much, and I don't like that. So that's not cool. And that's actually why I didn't like watching uh, Gemini Man, or whatever uh-huh. that thing was called. Yeah, yeah. Um, CGI Will Smith was creepy as hell. It was creepy? Okay. Um, mm. it, was, it was just really, really disturbing. I wasn't expecting oh. it. I have grown up with him. I didn't need to see him young again in my <laughs> 30s. Um, I'm claiming it now. I'm 30. I don't care if I have to win oh another month. Gosh, we are um, 30. Crazy. Right? Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a thing. We, we've we lived three decades. How? How? I don't know how I yeah. tripped and stumbled this one. <laughs> right, right. And I think that's actually one of the reasons why I liked this film. It brought me back to a lot of a lot of my young stuff. I, I liked all of the Easter eggs. I liked the random BS with uh, with what was it, uh, Blockbuster and all that nonsense. Oh, like that the, the cheesy songs. It was so it was so bad. The Radio Shack thing. Oh god. When they started playing, uh, I was done. When they started Radio playing uh, TLC and stuff, and uh, bro, like man, the whole it, it was scenario. Great. It was it, it was, was great. but I I just I liked it for that. I for me it was like it's not. Uh, Thor Ragnarok, 
which mm. at this point for me is one of my favorite of the MCU films. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was it was just good. It was good. It was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, fu- funny it was like enough, a good comfort film. Funny enough for me, I think the uh, what made me most excited about the film is actually the future prospects because um because at some point if if we're following the comics um her her friend's uh daughter Monica is supposed to be yes. another Captain Marvel. So I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, ready Captain to see Marvel her. or Spectrum, I think is the is her other name. Spectrum, yes. You yeah. mean the 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 new Avengers? You think it's gonna happen? You think it's possible? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, they they left that they left that open basically at the end of the film. Yeah, and uh, mm. Tony's daughter, and or or Ironheart. Yeah, Ironheart. Oh in no, the no, future, no. Maybe. Morgan is not going to be in the. Um... She's not. Okay, no. if that's the case, then Ironheart it is. Then time to move on the mantle. If that's the case, because uh, if you guys well, do... actually that's questionable because really? technically in the if I mean that's if they scrap everything from what's currently going on in the mcu because tony technically left everything to peter not that's right riri because riri was never introduced that's so right. that's i mean that it, it would be it would be great if they did don't get me wrong i'm all for it um although i'd love to see devil dinosaur before i saw her in uh an iron man suit but either way gotcha Gotcha. I mean, who's not to say that Peter might uh, find some new recruits to bring into the Avengers while he's on the run? True. Yeah. Very true. I mean, that's common. Yeah. They always do that. <laughs> they yeah. find each other. Exactly. <laughs> what you got, Galen? Um, so, another animated thing. Um, that's what's up. <laughs> I'm going to hey. go with Netflix's Klaus. Um, oh, nice! I've seen um, that was that. It looked really good. I see the good. name pop up, but I haven't looked into it. It looks what, really good. Really so, um, do you want me to spoil anything or no? Uh, you got a rundown. Yeah, spoil free. Yeah. Um, spoil free, yeah. So basically, uh, this guy who's like he—he's basically Cusco, but so this Cusco <laughs> guy who's a mailman, um, his father. Sends him to like the North Pole, um, to like send out like I don't know a bunch of like mail. Um, if he, if he doesn't like send out the mail, he'll get like kicked out of his like luxury house Aww. or lifestyle, what? whatever. Yeah, okay. it's it's good. Um, so he has to figure out a way to like you know mail out everything, and um, and basically up North Pole, like everybody's kind of an asshole to each other. Uh, um, and that's as far as I'm gonna go because you know. Okay. I was about to. I was about to no, ask. Uh, yeah. I was about to ask. Sorry. Excuse me. This isn't related to uh, the um the uh, sh- the show or se- the movie or series uh, Rise of the Guardians, is it? Because that's no, no that no. that Not okay. Because no. you know, cause, sorry, because that Santa Claus looks a little bit like the Santa Claus. And, Maybe uh, the same the artist. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cause, Cause, uh... um... Yeah. Dang. <laughs> but Dang. everything yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah, like, really good. everything looks like it's 3D, but it's actually 2D. It looks so nice. 2D, yes. That's, that's how good it is. Yeah, I was is. actually going to ask. Like, I think I remember reading, like, there, were, there weren't a lot of uh, artists for the, for, the, for the film, right? Yeah, it was... It was a movie, right? Yeah. It was like was nice. I feel like I follow all the a lot of a lot of wrist cramping, but that's it's beautiful. Yeah. I recommend you watch it, even though it's not Christmas anymore. But it's still, oh, I definitely heart. will. <laughs> oh wait, isn't this a isn't this a Spanish film? Like, isn't it in Spanish? Uh no, no. Uh, maybe it's made in Spain mm. though. I don't. <laughs> but everything's in English, for, for reals. Every, okay. well, it, you don't have to um. look at subtitles. Okay. Oh no! I totally would have just watched it in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that that's their slate is going is. back. It is. It's Spanish animated, written and directed oh. by Sergio Pablos. Nice. Sweet. Oh, he has his own animation studio. It's nice. it too. Just watch it. Look at you, Sergio. All, all I'm gonna say, because it's okay. I definitely that will. good. I'm, I'm down for this. 
I, I, I like the main character because he has the best in character development, I think. Mm-hmm. Like, like, like the same. Anyone who starts out as a Kuzco, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. That was that was a perfect analogy for for his. Pretty much, yeah. Oh man, now I feel like watching that too. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> that's how much I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see. I'll Darn see it, Gailene, you're such weekend. a good seller. Yeah, same, here. <laughs> same here. Thanks, Gailene. That's awesome. I'll check it out. You're too. welcome. You're welcome. What you got, Matt? All right. So my number two is a controversial, controversial one because of the fact that it's this high up on the list. Um, Jump Force. Ooh, God ooh, dang ooh, it, man! Like, wow. God, I hate you. I'm slapping. You. I'm slapping. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I, and honestly, I'm surprised it's this high on the list considering I've had my. Uh, complaints and grievances about it, but my number two is Pokemon Sword. <laughs> uh, what the? I know. Okay. I, I, I know. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, Ex- explain. I mean, on, on one hand, you know, you know, I would, I definitely was not expecting this game to be like perfect or anything, but there's usually with a Pokemon game, um. There's always this weird balance between the evolution of the uh, vis- visuals and overall aesthetics of the game and a fallback with the background mechanics. And I feel like this game hits that even harder. Um, you know, we, we, we talked in the past before about the issues with, tr- you know, we're simply just trying to do basic multiplayer stuff. Um, and the, the story... The second half of the story, I don't, it feels like really, really rushed. Like they're really trying to um, just put out what what they have, what they can, and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, especially with, with a lot of those like really static uh, cutscenes. It, 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 like the static cutscenes and stuff happening way, way off screen. Like it kind of shows that they didn't have time to do everything they wanted with this game. Um, but. At the same time, unfortunately, the uh, the usual rigmarole of how a Pokemon game works is still honestly kind of fun. Um, I do like a lot of the new creatures. Um, Toxtricity is is my new homeboy. Yeah, that yeah yeah. <laughs> that is, he is a good one. He's mm-hmm. a good boy. Yeah, I like I like the low amp one. Me too. That's my favorite one. Low amp all in one day. I'm actually in the middle of seeing if I can put together a um a music theme uh team right now to go just through know, the battle tower. Just know they're eventually gonna release that G Max uh toxicity. They just need to hurry up. Yeah, I know, I know. But um but I mean you, you know I'm I'm still angry with, with this game obviously being rushed, but uh-huh. at least the game still works. <laughs> 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 I, I, I know it sounds like it sounds like I'm giving it a, a pass and Maybe psychologically I am, but I did have some joy with uh with this game despite all the grievances I had. So yeah, I'm, okay, I'm, that's the most I, important thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still surprised at how how high I gave it, but um, let's, let's just hope they do better next time around. So yeah, Pokemon Sword at number two. Okay, wow. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, uh. I, well, me. Oh. <clears throat> also, real quick, I'll, I'll just say they need to give us back the the player search system from um from X and Y because that yes. that people keep asking about you know oh when are we going to get a Pokemon MMO? That's basically what that was. Oh. And they t- and yeah. they took it away. They did. That was. Mm. So bring so bring that back, Greg. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I chose. Th- my uh number two game to be the outer worlds um it was like to be fair since i got my wait new... can you say that again you cut out really yeah, oh man <laughs> sorry um the the game i chose for uh the this number two on my on my top five for 2019 is the outter worlds from okay Obsi- is it Obs- yes Obs- obsidian entertainment obsidian. um excuse me <clears throat> Sorry about that, man. Sorry, but uh, I I guess it's safe to say that since ever since I built the, my computer and since uh, Xbox announced that feature this past uh, June um, at E3 with the Xbox 
Game Pass for uh, not just for Xbox One, but also PC. They added the Outer Worlds part of their list. And I must say, you guys know I'm a huge Fallout fan. You guys know um, Mm. I'm a huge, uh, how should I say, first person, well, type. I'm a first person shooter type uh, player and gamer and Mm -hmm. I do love exploration and I do love uh, dialogue games and adventure games. This is our answer ever since we call that hot mess fallout 76. Hot hot mess. (laughs) West Virginia. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) (laughs) But, but I uh, recently, I just received uh, the shrink ray pistol and uh, my science level is great i can um permanently shrink characters down and if i ever get the chance just approach them and hit the melee button and in- it's an insta kill so wow. uh yeah i'm a jerk <laughs> i'm a jerk <laughs> yeah, um the game is perfect and their morality system especially when you talk to characters because they do represent factions or civilizations or companies you have to be really careful because the higher your friendship is the better the prices will be when for example for uh, auntie cleo she's uh she makes uh pharmaceuticals i get 60 percent off on vending machine purchases which is nice like sweet but if let's just say for example i'm aggressive towards them it's a 20 percent taxation on each item i get from their vending machines and sounds like that's deserved. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But no, no, I'm I'm pretty much mutual and friendly to everyone in the playthrough. But maybe my second gameplay, I'll just be a total ass, and uh, we'll see where it goes. So again, number two from City and Entertainment, The Outer Worlds. Uh please, someone take it from there. All right, I got you. So my next one is another manga, and I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't have free time like that, I wouldn't. I want to recommend you read it, but it's like, look, it's a lot. And that's One Piece, the Wano Country arc. They've been hyping this <laughs> arc up. It is so good. There's so much lore. It's all about the lore. Like, the fight scenes, they're great. But that lore, like, there was one chapter where Sengoku was sitting out with New World Marines and telling them all this stuff about, about uh, Luffy's grandfather, Garp. He's the hero of the Marines for a reason. There was, oh. there was big fights back in the day. It's, there's just the lore, the world building is excellent, even though it's a little rushed. Wano has been rushed, but he just, I feel like he just wanted to tell Gold Roger's story. Like, there's a lot of Gold Roger lore in this arc. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's delicious. I'm it's, I'm eating it up. We get to see Gold Roger fight. Him and him and uh, White Bear have a little clash. It's, a, it's, boy, that's why I need to watch. Look, I stopped watching the anime after, like, Dressrosa. It was getting on my nerves, but now... And I saw some Wano arc. Wano's looking good. Like I don't oh, yeah, that art look, di- boy, that art director they got on there. The line, like I look at those it's lines. The, it's, it's the same director as the um the movies, right? Yeah, I wanna say, yeah, I wanna say uh, I might be wrong, but I think he might have worked on Broly. I wanna say, but I'm probably way off, but it looks really good. And I need to stop being lazy to start watching it because it just <laughs> this Wano arc, whew. And the sprinkles of the 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 reverie, like the reverie and the Wano arc, were like so intertwined. Like mm-hmm. oh oh, it's just, there's so much all this information coming at you because they they want to say that uh they said they it's like oh it's eighty percent done, but it's like look, he's had the ending, he's already had the ending done for a while, but it's like he keeps getting new stuff, like it keeps popping up in his head. So I'm like, I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. Like, it's still going to be more stuff that I know is going to pop up in that man. Say, Oda's just... So actually, I was I, I was about to ask you real quick, um, because because you, you mentioned before some some of the stuff about the backstory mm-hmm. feels a little rushed. Do you think Do you think it's because um, he's probably trying to get to, well, maybe not completely rushed too, but yeah. starting to make those tracks towards the actual ending of the series. Yeah, because we now know that they're like with uh Roger, like this this final journey, because he was like, yeah, he got a year left to live, so he's trying to get all this stuff done. So he there's there's like more than one final island. Like, like there's an island leading to the final island that nobody knew about, and then you know the Marines didn't want people to get there, but mm-hmm. it's like it's just I know that he's trying to get the flashback over with, but he wants you to know about it because yeah, we got to get back to the current stuff like that's going on in Wano, but he also wanted to show you how 
Odin and them were connected to like the final stuff because Odin was with Whitebeard for a period of time and Roger on his final journey because he could read the rogue pointy glyphs and stuff like that. Right, just, right. It was just it's just nice and juicy. And it's like I feel like he wants you to he wants you to know Odin because he wants you to to test the current like antagonist in this arc because he's a piece of garbage. Where's <laughs> Rummy at? Because uh, <laughs> Orochi is a piece of trash. Because <laughs> it's like there was like a little in early on in the arc, uh, a character Kinemon. Yeah. Was, was from there, he t- he tells them what happened, and he, you don't. So I'm assuming we're go- we're going to find out. But you can see the faces of everybody crying as he's telling them what happened to Odin and like what Orochi did. So I'm like, I can't wait to find out so I can personally punch Orochi in the face myself. <laughs> wow <laughs> it's just this arc is so it's, it's, it's really good <laughs> crazy i um <laughs> the wano country arc of one piece <laughs> before we could right. before we continue on thank you guys for tuning in we appreciate it we are happy to be back for 2020 this is our first episode for the new year welcome to episode four ladies and gentlemen please keep the chat alive if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask. Please let us know what's up. And if you haven't already, please press that follow button. Help support the channel. Turn on the press the bell for notifications every time the channel gets live. And of course, follow us on our social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course YouTube. Because yes, this episode will be will be replayable and um, shown for those who missed it on our YouTube channel. So thank you guys. Continue. Let's go. Yo. Can I just say that I forgot Twitch had a bell? No, no, you're fine. No, <laughs> people forget. Oh, people like, forget the press that. <laughs> I was gonna say I think that's new. It's it's yeah, they sort of introduced that la- early last year, so okay. yeah. Like, it, it's <laughs> like so YouTube. Come on, dude. It's like you, I found it this week, so yes. If you turn <laughs> on the bell, found it last month, you're like you fine. <laughs> if you turn on the bell, guys, you will be notified every time the channel goes live. Not just for our podcast, but for our live streams as well. Not, I mean, I stream for the channel. You got Gaylene, you got Big John, you got Aerosol, you got Matt, you got Julie Rage Mage. Oh, so uh, heads up, and just like it's just like YouTube, you subscribe, turn on the bell for notified of any new videos. Just like for us. Yeah, turn also follow and subscribe to our YouTube page uh, uh, channel as well. So yeah, okay, you can continue on. What you got, Arisel? So my number two is Euphoria, uh, Euphoria by Sam Levinson on HBO. Hmm. Um, I actually chit chatted about this with some folks uh, during the break. I'm a big fan of coming of age stories. Um, I thought that this was a really well done one, um, Mm -hmm. just because it was, uh, yes, it was gritty, it was dark, but in a lot of ways it was disturbingly realistic to stories that I've heard consistently from folks, so. Oh, this is the show uh, was Zendaya. Wait, say that again? This, uh, the HBO show was Zendaya, right? Yes, it's the show with Zendaya, um. Okay. What else? Like she's in there. There's a mod Apatow. Not a lot of a lot of new faces, basically. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm liking it too. I appreciate that yeah. HBO and a lot of um, other uh, channels, publications, whatnot are are really tapping into these young folks and then yes, not just going with the same faces over and over again. You know, like the child stars and stuff like that, but bringing in new talent all the time. These like these kids did an amazing job um, with this show. I don't really have any complaints, like, much at all. It's just been uh, phenomenal, I think, personally. So, if you're into mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, you just want to watch some random greedy nonsense about idiot teenagers doing stupid shit that you know you didn't do when you were growing up, <laughs> this is the show to watch. <laughs> yeah, when, when I get HBO Max, I'll give the show a look. Definitely. If nothing else, the soundtrack was amazing. Labyrinth did a phenomenal job. Um, shout out to him for that I would say that's another reason why the show is so good Um, like and apparently tapping him on for the show was a fluke they kind of just did it to see what would happen and then he's just like yeah I've got some stuff that might work for this next Mm -hmm. thing you know everyone's harassing him on like every social media site known to man (laughs) for how amazing his stuff was like every I can tell you everyone myself included was definitely upset that it took them like two months to drop 
um, the the original soundtrack. We were like, "What the hell are you guys waiting for? We want every song." What the hell? Every are you song. For? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god! That I think was a really big one for me. That redeemed HBO in my eyes after all the nonsense they've been doing. Oh wow! Galen. Okay. Uh, Kayleen? Did she vanish again? Probably. I think she was having some tech problems. All right. Um, yes. Uh, um, Oops. Kayleen, yeah, you're going we, we in there. We cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. I think there's a little bit of Wi-Fi issues that's going on, going on a little bit, that folks. Is... Hold on. Hold on. Hold you're on. fine. You're fine. Take your time. You know, speak while we're while she's fixing herself and uh, getting it settled and uh, getting it settled. Shout out to the ten people watching our podcast or tuning in. If you guys are listening to us, but or do or or having us in the background, we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank yes, you, thank hello. you. Hello, sorry, yeah. hello. You're back. Okay, my my parents. The Wi-Fi is being messed up. My parents are you. You're, too. you're fine. You're fine. Uh, do your best. It's okay parents all right all right i'm sorry <laughs> um so uh, this is uh I, it's so gonna... wait we lost you again Say we again. lost you for like a quick second music music hello no hi <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh okay i don't think this is gonna work <laughs> get lost in the matrix why would you say it like okay. that? Damn <laughs> yeah. you, Neo. Where are you when we need you? So much for the one. I like data usage. Oh, you're using da- data? I like the one to cause heartbreak. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not... She's still talking like a robot. It's difficult. Oh, no. We, we, okay, we, can, come, we so can come back to her. We'll come back to you. Say, we can come back to her or if she wants to share it. Share it with us. We'll type it out and uh, read it. Uh, yeah, if you could type it out for us, we'll be happy to I'll read it for you. Okay. All right. Just we got you. So, Matt. Yeah, so what, what I what I do, I'll I'll say my number one and then I'll I'll read it afterwards. Deal. All right. Okay, so uh my number one is honestly not a surprise to the people. To uh, people who've been watching what I play, um, mm-hmm. this is one of the things I've been having uh, actually have time to get to, and that I got into, you know, got into this base game at the perfect time to enjoy the new content. And of course, that is uh, um, my num- my number one being Monster in the World Iceborne. I got, I love all, all the right. content. I love fighting Velcana, um, even though he. Completely destroyed us in, in that early beta. Uh, we would have we would have been fine if it wasn't for that freaking fifteen minute time limit. But um, uh, all the all the additions have been great. The re- the recent um holiday event that we just passed through has been phenomenal. I love my new uh uh Chinese outfit. Looks, looks super dope on me, and um. Looking forward to all the all the more stuff that they're continuing to add to the game. Um, I think we're about to get some space alien event coming up soon. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how that's going to work, but uh, sounds pretty dope. Yeah, it does. So, so yeah, so that's that's so Iceborne is my number one of the year. So let's see, so Gaming uh, is wrote my number two is uh, Melanie. Martinez K twelve. The music is catchy, and Melody made made dance moves. Um, nice. I'm, I'm I'm assuming this is a, a musician. I I think I I'm think she's pretty I think, sure. I think it's yeah. a musician. I think so. She said yes. Can you can you pull anything up, Greg? Um, I will just. Yeah. Very beautiful visually. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm looking at a Wikipedia now. Um. Oh, so this this was her, her album, her recent album. Okay. Yeah, yeah. K twelve, got you. She has a song called Lunchbox Friends. Hey, it's about us. I'm gonna yeah, stop. <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, 
Oh, we need to I'm gonna need to listen to that later, and yes, maybe that'll be yes. our theme song. I can't. Um, you know, you guys know I can't play the music because we don't want to get. No, I'm gonna listen to it later. Yeah. Gotcha. But this is glimpse so of the what music do we video. Need to, do to get on that music video. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, sweet. But no, the music video looks really whoa. Well, everyone's wearing a lot of pink. Okay, whoa. It's like okay. I think that's why she likes it. They're okay. Yep. I like her hair, the the white can and I, the black. Can I wear uh... black? Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna wear pink to this music video. I'm just uh, you know, right uh... I wow. have allergies. No. <laughs> oh, well, wow. Okay. Well, this is glimpses. With I think this is a glimpse of the music video, right? That we're yeah, watching yeah. right now. Okay. This is pretty interesting. So, what's her? What's the genre? Is it pop or? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm guessing she said yes. Yeah, Wikipedia says she's um uh art pop, electro pop, alternative pop. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, okay, but yeah, the music video. Wow, everyone's wearing like blonde, same blonde wigs. It is freaky. <laughs> but okay. Oh. I mean, I are they? They're either in they're in school, so you yeah, know, it's basically yeah. Like a prison. Everybody's got to wear the same thing. Uh, oh, right. oh tr true, true. Oh, peasant um... sheep, peasant sheep, <sighs> peasant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, th uh, Galen, thank you. Um, uh, see, see if we can uh, fix up your Wi-Fi settings once we get back to you. So, uh, for right. time being, for time being, uh, Greg, what is your number one 2019? My for games, number one, and uh, Aerosol's gonna like this. Aerosol, you want to take a, you want to take a guess? I don't. I don't, Greg. Say it. It's Five Nights at Freddy's, everyone. <laughs> Psych. Anyways, uh. <laughs> I chose Remedy 505 Games Control. Uh, that was my number one game for uh, 2019 because... Fantastic pick, my friend. Oh my... Aerosol, I might stream this game again next week for the company also. Please, please do. And... Like... Uh... Oh god, that damn janitor. Yeah, like, I, I just... Cause... Mm -hmm. It's so addicting. I still haven't forgiven him. I still haven't forgiven him. Cause like, cause <laughs> everyone's been telling me, are asking me, have you been to the ashtray maze yet? I'm like, what is that? And they're like, we can't tell you. I was like, oh lord. Wait, yeah. If you don't know, I'm not gonna tell you because I spoiled myself for it. And dude, I actually need you to play control again just so you can get there. It's, what? It's, oh it's, my gosh, bro, bro, the you don't understand. Game you don't is... spoil it. Don't I'm not gonna spoil it, obviously, no. But I it, need to see like your legit reaction. Like to the, it's like the oh puppet reaction, God. like my puppet reaction. Yes. Great, great. Like, like, bro. How can you? How do you want to describe? Okay, okay. I I don't know how to describe this game because the game itself is pretty much a. Uh, it mixes Inception and the X Files. A bit, mm -hmm. but. Man, you become the new director. It's, it's everything you wish that a reality bending video game would be about. Yes. I think. Yes, and I, I just, I, I like, I fell in, I fell in love with it. Like, actually, like, the game got my attention for the at the game when it was announced for the Game Awards as being its one of the nominees, and it did win Best Art Direction, which is awesome. Yeah. And the game was on sale on Black Friday, and I was like, you know what, what the heck, I'll definitely pick up a copy, because there's like, there's no way, there's no way in hell um, this game um, cannot be, cannot not be played. Like, because I was like, I need to play something different, I need to play a little bit more single player games, because, you know, I can't rely on multiplayer games and pff, Call of Duty all the time, and I need to play, you know, like, something <laughs> interesting. And, I, you know, it's like, I have Jedi Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, but... Let me venture out and see what I can get. So, and you know, and I also have Death Stranding, but I was like, but they said, and and apparently, and I don't know if you found or did research Aerosol, but they said Kojima is in this game. He's in oh. his Easter egg. Apparently. Wait, no, I didn't. Kojima not. is okay, apparently an Easter egg I th from what I heard, and almost what? like, really? 
Oh, okay. What? Challenge oh, accepted. I'll, fi I'll, I'll find it. And Kojima, he yeah. loves it. He loves it. And because he, he this does. game was really, really good. And man, it, it just wish you, it just wishes that what if Inception had a game? This would be it. This would be it. Because out of so many mind blowing moments in this title, and I've only played it while streaming for the company, of course. I got to mm -hmm. keep going and I really hope it's I don't I doubt it's still there. I think it's it's been uh, obviously it's been more than 2 weeks cuz uh video on demand uh, doesn't save that well for our replays on our Twitch channel, mm -hmm. but I got to go back and see uh and um find that video where me and Aerosol we just played it and then sh we just kept on turning on an on and off switch for the lights, then we get s transported to another room. Oh, and wow. it, it, we were like, what the... F and Aerosol was like, Greg, what is this? I was like, I don't know anymore. I'm scared. And now she's <laughs> now she's telling me that I need to go to the ashtray maze. I, I am. Oh, I am. man. I heard... I will be there with you every step of the way. Oh, my Terrified Lord. and clutching my monkey. But I will be there. <laughs> but that is my number one game of 2019. And shout out to Remedy and 505 Games. I can't wait. And I know the first expansion comes out for free next month or March. I think so. I, 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 I know it. what things. Uh, it's very soon. So, yeah. Thanks again, uh, Remedy, for making a great game. And can't wait for more. It's ugh. What you got, Big John? Okay, so this is going to be a shocker for everybody here. Jump Force, number, you son no, of a... No, no, that's not it. Get that game out of here. My number one is Jumpstart Third Grade. You already know, gotta bring it back for the one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Who <laughs> no, <but>. are you? <laughs> no, damn, wait, 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 wait. Is it, did, isn't it true Ooh. that they're bringing back, um, is it, is it Spy Fox or Sly, I don't know what. No, um, it was like, point, there was some about pointing a bunch of those games yeah, to the Switch. Yeah, to the Switch or, and, um, Pajama Sam for the PlayStation 4. I was like, know, what? But, uh, I was like, I was like, come on, yo, let, let's go. Well, like, yo, easy plat. But for real, everybody surprised. That's you dream of plaids. Right? Hey, yeah, all day. I'm, I'm the platinum hunter. For, I'm the platinum king for the Lone Spots hey, publications. Let's go. This is platinum trophies. What came out? He was on them. Yo, Proxy said, "What? Well, but where's Clue Finders though?" <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! All right, but yeah, my number one for real is is, is Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I know I complain, but I complain about a lot of things, but. Mm -hmm. It's still a fun game. You know, I've been playing Pokemon for like 30 years, so what you expect? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like you said, like... you got to criticize it because you love it. Yeah, and and like, I wish they would have did with it. Since they had an art director from, like the main art director is the director from uh, Black and White. So I'm Jim like, Turner. yeah, at least they could have went the route of just new Pokemon. And then, you know what they're doing this year. You know, they could have added, you know. But I would have been fine with just the new Pokemon. They didn't have to put all these old Pokemon and then you know just for me to get mad at like oh the trash ones are here but where the good ones at <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like the story's fun the music's great there's a lot of there's a lot of new favorites like Toxtricity Dreadnaw uh the the the, the metal chunk that's a dragon type <laughs> mm -hmm. there's a lot of there's a lot of fun designs in the game especially with Gigantamax like with uh Al Creamy and the Gigantamax form it's just like this tall cake. It's just, they wow. Have, okay. Have some fun with the designs with that. So it's just it's, it's a good time, you know. I'm, I'm, surprised I, I'm surprised I didn't bring up my uh, my my gorilla on the drums here, man. Look, the end. I was about to say, the, I love the monkeys. When you beat that game and you see like the little, I guess it's like I wouldn't call it a halftime show because it's like the end time show, I guess. And when it's just two toxicities, uh, uh the uh, what is that thing called? The what is Obstagoon is the lead singer and uh <laughs> oh drum. yeah that they, yeah and like I was playing a game and if you go to Hillberry I think it's called where Nessa is mm -hmm. like if you go to the lighthouse there that's they're chilling over there 
Really? Yeah, they're over there. Oh. I didn't interact with it because I was like, it's going to be a cutscene. I was just there for the lucky egg, but I'm going to have to go back and see if <laughs> yeah, there's a little cutscene. Or they're just there chilling for the rest of the game, like the end game, post game. That's cool. I need, I need to go look at that. Yeah, they're over there chilling. Little concerts on the, by the ocean, you know? Which but but no, I get it. You're, you're in the same boat as, as me where, like, there's, there's, there's definitely a lot that could have been done with the game, but yeah. what we do have is still a fun game nonetheless. Yeah. It's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Talk Shit to the low amp form. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like Amphros ain't here yet, but Talk Shit will work. It's <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right, uh, Gail, I'm not Gailing. Uh, Erso, what is your number one? My number one for 2019 is Seis Manos. Um, Ooh. Ooh. I saw, I saw the Another series I've been needing to look at. Y'all. I need to get um, So, executive producers, I think, uh, who, oh my gosh, who, who are they? Brad Graber and Alvaro Rodriguez. Um, mm-hmm. It's basically like. A, I don't want to say it's just like every other Mexican, like story of a small town Mexican family or the, the orphan family because it's like three orphan kids who like l- learn Chinese martial arts randomly, um, <laughs> in this little fictional this little like, fictional town. Uh, they deal with like um, you know cartels, um, uh, corrupt politicians, corrupt religion. It's like this whole thing. But it's just, it's so well drawn and... It looks really great. It's its freaking fantastic. Like, the whole cast is awesome. I was, like, randomly surprised at Mike Coulter being there, of all people. Um, and I kind of wanted to punch him in the face because he's being that ignorant American. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, why do you have to be ignorant American and black? Like, just don't ruin this for me. Yes. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> like, stop telling them to speak Mexican it's Spanish, you bitch. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Wow. Let, let, me, let me listen. If you have been, to, if you had been told to speak Mexican as many times as I have in my life, you'd be mm. mad too. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's it's just such a freaking good show, man. I can't wait for season two. Um, the, all of the actors, I think I'm pretty sure they're all like not new voice actors, but definitely like. They haven't gotten as much attention as they should have, so I'm really glad they're doing it with the show. Um, right. And it's it's just, it's fantastic. I think all of the artwork is amazing. It's gritty, it's gory, it's it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. The martial arts, like, I saw, and just now, like, she know, the, this person knows uh, Thunderpaw? Yeah, they all do different like styles. They all do wow. different styles. So Jesus, Jesus is the chubby one. He does the drunken style. Um, I can't cool. remember what uh, her style is called. And then you have Silencio, who's like the quiet one. And he does, um, oh God, I can't even, I, uh, Bachme. So he does Bachme and um, Isabella, that's the that's the girl. She does um, Hunga. Hunga, so, yeah. Yeah, they all have their own special, you know, styles. They do every, like, it's, it's so great how personalized they are. Like, I... Ah, between between the artists and the the actors themselves, like they really did focus on how to bring about these characters to life, and I think they did a phenomenal job for only being eight episodes. It was like the best best time of my life. I had so much fun with it. Yeah, and saw... Danny Trejo is in it. Do you uh, need any other reason uh, for uh, anything? Of course. Uh, <laughs> my my la- my Latinx my Latinx godfather is in it. Okay. Okay. Next, All watch. right. <laughs> just, just for that, <laughs> I will watch anything that Danny Trejo is in. Like I love this guy. I'm giving mad props because I I definitely saw the movement of a little, I saw a little bit of Baji Kwan a bit, and that's the Earthbenders. For those who watch Avatar or The Last Airbender or um, The Legend of Korra, Baji Kwan was uh, used to format or. Who watches either or? You watch both. Well, hey, but there's elitists out there that don't really like horror like that. I like bits and pieces from the whole thing. As I was saying, Baji oh. Kwan was used to make the earthbending style, and right. and so but, but I but I what saw but I saw that in in the anime in the in some of the footage I just uh, I I've shown to the viewers out there, and that's accurate. 
holy crap <laughs> so i'm telling you like when i when uh-huh. i say these guys really did focus on these characters like they did an amazing job like every moment every scene i honestly i i can't even really nitpick because even things that were problematic they were so true to life that it was perfect for this there's i have no complaints about the show it's at gone. all that's why it's my number one okay okay yeah, looking, at, looking at that clip um the animation style it was giving me like a nice blend on on all the positive things between stuff like uh Castlevania, Legend of Korra, and even, even um, like the intense scenes from the Boondock season. Yes. Yes, completely and totally agree. Hmm. Yeah, maybe think of Boondock since I've been rewatching it lately. I, I, I totally forgot that they had um, uh, Madhouse work on that. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, the, the Proxy. Really? So Proxy did house. say uh, same studio that did Castlevania. Wow. I, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> okay, now. Okay. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Yeah, wait. Pow- Powerhouse, right? Yes. Because Powerhouse Animations, yeah. They're the ones that, yeah. Okay, then. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. That explains why, why it looks <laughs> the way it does. All right. Yep. So, what you got? Gaylene. Uh, Are you back? Can with you us? hear me? Yes. Yeah. You can. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh man. <laughs> <I> was, like, <laughs> sort of making noises, and then I sort hate of you guys. like not. But I'm oh my glad. god! It's so ridiculous. I'm glad. Is there any problem? Is there an echo right in now? the room? Is there? No. No. Okay. Uh, all right. Yep. Gillian, you're doing fine. What's your number one? Okay. All right. Well, my number one is going to be Ramstein. Oh, okay. She actually wrote it out already. Um, Thank God. I don't, I'm not going to pronounce it properly, though. Ramstein's Untitled album, 2019. Mm-hmm. She it's, said it's their untitled. comeback is yeah. actually fire, and I bought the oh. physical copy. You, she can uh, read it. You know, she can. She can. I mean, yeah. you can read it. Okay. What? Go ahead. Yeah, like, go, go. go out again. You know. Wait. You what? sound fine. What? Never mind. Continue. <laughs> you can. Obviously, I, I... I don't sound fine. So how about you keep? Okay. You know, no, no, oh no. Shoot, I'm not gonna. We're gonna argue. Making person. me feel all First awkward episode, and all the spot. First episode 2020. This is what happens. Great. All right. You no, can great. continue. You did it. This okay. is all your fault. All right. Yeah. I, 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 I can't, no, no. D- not on me. Oh, okay. He D- said Deutschland is her favorite song. All of the new songs are dark and has their signature sound. To me, it's very nostalgic. She does like the lead singer solo album. Also, she feels that the solo album sounds as good as Ramstein's song. Hey, I'm not agrees. saying their name correctly, but that's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> she loves them. They're all bops. <laughs> <laughs> if I said that a little aggressively, Gaylene, I'm sorry. You know I love you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. She also said that she stands Boondocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, <laughs> that was cool. Like I, I will admit, um, I didn't know Ramstein was obviously still doing stuff. Yeah, like, right. That's, yeah, that's been a while. I'm glad to know that I said their name correctly, Ramstein. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it's one of those things that you used to hear all the time when when learning about rock during uh middle school, high school stuff like that. Oh I'm yeah. Sure everyone remembers Do Haas. Oh yeah. Do Haas. Do Haas. Me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> now, what? Now I know that I definitely wasn't learning rock the proper way because I, first of all, was late to every single game, and now the only rock albums I listen to are by uh, Gary Clark Jr. I don't listen to anything else. But, but he's good though. He's really good. Cool. I mean, mm-hmm. he's was, was fucking like... amazing. Don't call him good. <laughs> That's my husband. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, at the time, Ramsey was was like the. The basically the one of the most popular for um, really hard rock and heavy metal way back way back in the early two thousands. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm. Like, okay cool. if, if you were in the metal at all, you you had at least a couple of songs from Ryan Ryan Sting uh, in your collection. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how you know I wasn't into metal. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, That's cool though. I'm gonna yeah. have to check them out. Mm. Well, real quick, since you saw my rock, quick RIP to my boy Neil Pert. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to uh, Rush drummer Neil Pert. 
He uh, oh, yeah, he, today, right? he passed away. Yeah. yeah, he passed away. Oh wow! Yeah, man. Um. Oh, we're losing all the good ones, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. If, you know what? Uh, I'll I'll be honest with you all. I, my father is uh he and he introduced me to a lot of uh the music I listen today. He, and you know like from yes from uh, rock classic rock metal hip hop uh both classic and and a little bit of the 90s and 80s stuff mm-hmm. and you know and cuz uh, for those who don't know I used to be a DJ uh it was a part mm-hmm. of the family business and rush and like everyone knows like everyone who doesn't listen to that band constantly like the number one song people are going to bring up is obviously tom sawyer and whoever has played rock band or guitar hero tom sawyer is one of those songs to play to continue to continue on and part of the game yeah i think think moving pictures is the only album for them i have in my collection oh yeah and you know everyone also knows the joke if you guys watch family guy when uh chester cheeto was yes. a brave <laughs> John no. yo <laughs> there's no better drummer than neil part <laughs> <laughs> and i i remember uh my father like when you, there's a guitarist i got i if you do you guys remember uh Maybe maybe you guys seen him in uh, parod- parodies like in uh, Simpsons and stuff, but his uh, the Winter Brothers uh, Johnny Winter he's like uh, mm-hmm. he's one he's like a, a guitarist. Yeah. But man, when when he passed away, my father was disheartened a bit. I was like, oh, dude, and I, I'm I'm af- I'm afraid to ask him if he found out about it, if he found out about uh, Neil's passing, and I'm like, come on, but again, um, shout out to neil his family the fans of rush and the band themselves rush uh we send our thoughts and condolences thank you for everything tom sawyer ladies and gentlemen and big john you want to say that line again for everybody (laughs) do it again man. there's no better drummer than neil park damn right let's go (laughs) but i guess um you know what I, I'm just having an idea, but it's up to everyone here tonight. It's up to everyone here who is also listening. Do you guys want to save our uh, most anticipated for next week? Because yeah. this has been like long episode. I got yeah. anticipated. I mean, no, 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 no. no. This is because it's yeah, not a complaint for it. the record. It, it, I mean, like I know there is a lot of news we need to catch up on, such as the expansion trailer that has been announced for Pokemon. I know we've seen a little bit of trailers that came out over the over our break, like A Quiet Place Part Two, uh, and uh, so excited. I, yeah, that that's gonna be crazy. And there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, other announcements that have been made, such as the the new Mutants trailer, and of course talks about for us about the Mandalorian and the latest Star Wars movie. I get it, but and but the thing is like, I can tell we're about to hit our tw- our twelve midnight mark, and I I really hate to shut down the show. I'm not trying to, but no, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're how, good, how, bro. How about this? And uh, of course. Uh, to all of our people listening, oh. here's what we'll do. Yeah. Next week, we'll cover uh, the news that's happening uh, within the week. And then for our second half, we'll go into our list of the top anticipated, top anticipated things we're hoping for in 2020. Deal. I, yep. can, I can deal with that. I'm here for this. Um, I think if it's okay, Matt, you want to go first? Like 2019, man. What do you think, bro? I mean, with all the hype, with all... The oh no! 20, 2019 was, was was a pretty good year. Yeah, that's me. All I can say, honestly. I mean, to be fair and honest with you, there 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 have been a lot of ups, uh, mostly ups. There have been, there have been some a little disappointments. I get it, but what the entertainment and pop culture world? It's not perfect. We're not going to get. Mm. We're not going to get the Kingdom Hearts we really want. We're not going to get uh, the album that. An EP that's gonna sound good with an accordion background. I oh, get boy. it, and we're not gonna get like an anime fighting game that makes sense and has great DLC content that we really want instead of being delayed and canceled. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So, yeah. What time or what tea? 
What tea? That says what tea, boo. That oh. says what tea. Sorry. Um, what tea? Uh, I I drink uh, green tea. Um, straight up raw. I don't put honey or any uh, sweeteners you in it. You are so fired. <laughs> what do you wow. mean I'm fired? Chilling. But um, no. I I learned to drink, but ever since no, I actually do that now. Ever since twenty uh the beginning of twenty nineteen. I don't put any sweeteners or anything like that to my tea. So, yeah. You're bold. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Sometimes, um, sometimes the aroma is all you need. Th- thank you, Big John. Thank you. But thank me, you. I need sugar because I am an addict. I'm sorry to say I hate God, the you. Fun like this, I hate you so much. <laughs> no, 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 no. I understand. I understand. Because uh, um, when I was sick, I, I just straight up green tea, no sweeteners. And I can, even with the bitterness, I like it, it was going to help me clear my throat so yeah and then i'm I'm glad i'm feeling better uh thank you guys for all the get well soon get some rest messages appreciate it Mm -hmm. appreciate it um i think 2019 for me was definitely a recovery method because i wanted to check myself in physically and mentally because i really I, i i i'm gonna have to say it all here it's tough running a company um I love the team I have. I love these guys who are with me right now. I love our fans. I love our supporters. It's tough to hold on to a, a, having a public image sometimes because I don't want to be, you know, considered as a bad person and stuff like that or assumed that I'm aiming for bad things. And I'm a nice guy. I hope everyone knows that. Like, I'm... You're doing fine, bro. Oh, man. Like, please... Um, Gaylene, you don't have to apologize. I mean, you are great. You are great, Gaylene. You do All not right. have to apologize. It's okay. But I really want to say thank you to everyone who has been patient. We brought back the podcast. That's one of the highlights of 2019 for the company. Yeah. So Absolutely. there you go. Good ideas. There you go. And we love you all for the patience. Thank you, Proxy. And y'all need to follow her. Check her out. You know what? We should put a command button for her now because she's one Aww. of our supporters and stuff Aww. like that because she's a great... No, don't. Shut it. No, you shut because she's been giving us ideas hey, and we appreciate the love and support. Scabbard. Did she just show off a... Um, is that a whopper? A whooper emote? Mm. No. Sorry. Sorry. It looks like <laughs> whooper without the antenna. But, um, <laughs> but whooper. we... But again... If you guys love cosplay, if you guys love great costumes, check her out. Please check her out. But, uh, I mean, so thank you guys for your patience. Thank you for supporting myself. Thank you for supporting Matt, Aracel, Gaylene, Big John, Julissa, Jennifer, Riley, Brandon, Cecily, Denise, and... Mm -hmm. Hopefully me. Wow. Mewtwo to the <laughs> and our, let's, let's, let's go. Uh, That's all, folks. <laughs> catch him, catch him. Gotta catch him all. <laughs> Mo <Mom, laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you for supporting all of us. And we can't wait. 2020 is gonna be our year. And you might see us in future conventions. <laughs> awesome con. Who said that? Next. I've been to a convention in so long. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. You're, you may need to change that. Next. <laughs> Next. Who wants to talk about their year? Um, Big John. Who look, 2019 has been a wild ride. And uh, an honorable man. Well, my, my real number one, obviously, is my nephew, Adam. Because uh, he, yeah. is, he is a precious orb okay <laughs> mvp let, let me tell you a little story he was born outside of my house yeah oh. yeah that's was, right really. yeah. yeah like yes my sister, it was like my yes. brother woke me up all after the fact but it happened like 3 a.m in february she was outside and he was like we here i am I was, <laughs> so, uh, wait when in february the 23rd we're basically twins. Oh, what? <laughs> That's Shut up, Greg. No, 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 no. I'm not making fun. I'm not making fun. Three days apart. We're still twins. I don't care. No, <laughs> no, no. That's so, that's so cool. 
he is he is yeah, a precious old man. No, man, listen, you are a great uncle. Um, I I'll, I want to add that because the pictures I see with you and uh, him, especially he's getting in front of your face and stuff like that, and I know how it felt. Trust me, dude. You're you're fine. You're doing well, and I'm glad he's about yeah. to turn. He's turning one he's next one month, this dude. Year. Yeah, oh, next, next, he, ooh, yeah, next month, man. Yeah. And it's like it's, savor it's like, every moment yeah. of yeah, this squirm you have little to, man. grossness. You have to. Um, I remember they we only were... get grosser and bigger. It's worse. yeah. D- I mean, <laughs> because I remember we just uh, we got a. Me and Larney were looking at pictures of uh, Evan when he was a baby. We were like, we missed this. So I was like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, and yes, so Larney just said it. Enjoy it while you can. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, what, uh, Big John, you have any other closing remarks you wanted to share? No. Gotcha. Just, look, it was just a wild ride. <laughs> like, it was a, <laughs> it, it felt like it happened so fast. <laughs> yeah, it did. Um, I'm proud of you, man. What, what you got, uh, Aerosol? I was actually going to say the complete opposite. I feel like 2019 lasted 10 years. Um, I, I'm glad that it's over. I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in 2020. Um, I'm going I'm to copy Ray John. And this, I did not hear what anybody just said, so I don't know what this laugh is all about. I'm going to copy Big John real quick and give a shout out to my boy. Yeah, now I miss him. I'm actually gonna show this to my here. sister who is inside this room. Oh my gosh! Oh, look, at look at that! <laughs> Where did you make that? It's, it's he's oh, like the dude, funniest little creature. Like, I don't know how they're like all male, like like they're all bones, but they squirm. <laughs> he squirms around like a little worm, and it's just like the funniest thing. <laughs> I John, I love oh him god. so much. Oh my god, Big John! What? <laughs> You showed this to Kumi and Larnie, but you didn't show this to me? Oh, you fired, man. I thought I did show it to you. No, you didn't. Wait, it's on Facebook? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. For those who don't know what Y'all I'm seeing. having this whole conversation, and the audience has no idea. <laughs> Fine, there about. you go. Um, This is a well, picture of my now. nephew. And you talking about when he was a baby, son. When he was a baby, <laughs> a.k.a. BMO. Aww. Hashtag the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what uh, is it with kids that have big old heads? They need to <laughs> yeah, my nephew got a big I said, Listen, I say this with love because Caden had the biggest head. Oh my <laughs> gosh, okay. I just love the way you asked that. <laughs> listen, like, I was yeah. a creamy. I had a perfectly tiny head, okay? I had no big old head like some of these kids. I'm just saying. Look, okay. my nephew got a nice round head. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I'm just saying, you, you actually like they could just get up and fix their head. <laughs> I mean, listen, Big John and they Adam, control y'all. when they come out the womb. They can control oh, a lot. Oh, oh Big John, he's wearing a Winnie the Pooh shirt. That's adorable. He's got man. a Rihanna forehead. My niece has got a Rihanna forehead. Oh wow! <laughs> and I'm like, uh, and I'm like, why, is your, like, why is your hair? Why is your hair already fading? So Cheese biz. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh, Galen, what you got? What you got? Uh, can you? Oh. Love in her heart. I don't. Uh. uh... I had an adventure. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Because my boy is five. I don't. Wait. I hate it. Yeah. Okay. Gail- really wait, Gail- I traveled Sorry. a lot. Okay. Most. Yes. Yeah. Mostly. But I think that that's what made my years. I traveled a lot. Okay, awesome. That's good. Yeah. Y'all be <laughs> need to chill on Twitch chat. Y'all need to stop. Look, this is my role game. Look, I need some role game for my beard. You know, my brother used. I'm pretty sure my brother used role game for his beard. What? Might be time. Okay. It's the most annoying thing. I grow all the hair. He grows nothing. <laughs> oh. All right. With that being said. You guys have a great night, and we will see you guys next week on the 17th. Same bat time, same bat channel. (laughs) Wow! (laughs) Wow! (laughs) 8.30 p.m. (laughs) Eastern, 
twitch.tv slash lunchbox pub just remember guys if you tuned in a little bit later don't worry please be sure to follow our youtube channel at youtube.com slash to lunchbox pub and follow all our social medias yep as yeah, told by our social media um, yeah. manager and i think who's streaming um on sunday is it julissa or no we don't have the streaming schedule for oh, we, we don't we don't have anybody on sunday gotcha gotcha Gotcha. All right. Gotcha game. <laughs> that was Greg volunteering, you guys. No. <laughs> All I heard was glitching. Oh. That that full sentence was a glitch, but that's okay. Buenas noches, y'all. You have a good night, guys. Happy we'll New see... Year. Yeah, happy New happy Year. Year. We'll yes. see you next Friday. Here we go. Oh, my God. You got spicy go. McChicken. Spicy McChicken is the best. Y'all are, what the, uh, okay. Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich is the best. I'll fight look, you on that. Look, I, look, I haven't had that yet because, you know. I'm oh, my God. Sick, I'm poor. Seriously? So, Seriously? Look, spicy chicken is 169. I got that. So I got All right, y'all have a good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, everyone. You're not wrong. That it is, is a good, good. Okay. <laughs>